Hey, it's Noel with the Renters Warehouse coming to you with another video. A uh, few people have commented that I haven't been doing as many uh, the, of these ad hoc car videos and i just been really busy trying to balance uh, putting content out and getting that out there and having engagement and getting some work done. And the work is, you know, we've got a ton of things going on in the company. We're working with some pretty large funds and just trying to find them products. And we've got a conference coming up, the IMN conference, but I'm curious if What's, what do you think that balance is? What do you think the balance of uh, putting out content and doing that and being consistent and actually getting work done? On another note, a lot of real estate data and news that's come out recently, and I've been fighting this battle of those who put, are putting out a false narrative saying that the real estate market's going to crash. Um, I really think the market, and I agree with a lot of, uh, of, of experts have come out and said, that they think the market's, the appreciation rate's going to slow down, which is great, helping affordability. Interest rates are gonna stay low, which that's great because that allows people to buy. And so even if interest rates go up at some point, all those people that are able to buy at that lower interest rate, they're gonna benefit that for years to come. And so that's great. More millennials are buying. Over 40 46% of all the uh, new home sales coming out right now, not new home sales, but home sales, period, are millennials, and that's awesome. Uh, some other news has come out. It's talked a little bit about some mortgage delinquencies and some legacy loans. That's interesting. I'll post some of these links in the comments. Um, but the most interesting thing that uh, that I've seen come out just recently was talking about people deciding to stay in place and not move, uh, and how this is a bad thing for the real estate market because then homes are exchange are, in, are in exchanging hands, and that might be bad for some people. But what does it really mean? for the economy and for, for people who decide to figure it out where they're at and not maybe move. Um, aren't they possibly saving some money by not moving, by staying in place? Maybe they can create more savings, maybe spend a little bit less, which will scare some people. But you know, the example they use in this article, which I will post, is you know somebody who lost their job at a auto factory and instead of moving and chasing around an auto factory job, they decided to get learn a new trade and create some more roots of where they're living. And so I don't see a problem with that. And so those who talk who talk about this as bad news because people are moving less, it's just a shifting in the in in, in the uh, in the makeup of our country a little bit. And is it long term? Maybe it's not. Just because people aren't moving as much, there's still a pretty decent percentage of people that are moving. So I think it's okay. It's a little bit counter to you know talking about people moving to these more hipsteria type areas and things like that. I think that's still happening. A lot of millennials, a lot of younger people, the ones that are moving the most, and that makes sense. But just because you decide to stay doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I'm curious on what your thoughts are on that. Um, but uh, I see the real estate market staying pretty strong for 2020, and I'm gonna continue to say that. I'm not trying to make a prediction. I just, that, that's the feeling in, in what I see of looking at the data. So just because a news article says something's bad doesn't mean it isn't. There's always, a, a good side to it, you know. People have been posting the stuff that that uh, Zillow again, that Zillow put out over a year ago, saying almost close to 50% of economists think there's going to be a recession in 2020. Well, we're already to 2020, and already to 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 the point where you can start predicting out a couple of uh, quarters, and maybe there's a slowdown in the economy. But the housing market is still going to stay strong, and I think that these home builders are really going to start catching up and building more affordable inventory, and that helps. But you know, the new home, new home sales is is a fraction of the entire market. So I think it's all good things happening. Uh, slowing down in the appreciation and, the, and that stuff is, is great. I don't just see a crash, which most people say a crash would be 10% or more in value decline, and I don't see that happening. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, thanks for uh, watching and listening and uh, I'll talk to you soon.